Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper, and today we are at the Vaugrenier Park. It's a very nice park, pretty much at sea level, lots of trees, so great to hang antennas. And today we are going to test the Chameleon AMCOM 3 antenna. AMCOM, of course, for emergency communications. This is only a first impression of the antenna, but uh, at first look, like everything else Chameleon makes, in my opinion, looks very well built. We have an Unun here, it's probably a 9 to 1 or 5 to 1, and a uh, nice quality wire, all that attached to a plastic winder, and good quality fittings. Now I will unwind the antenna. I like the fact that it's uh, on a winder and the winder is attached to the box actually because uh, that way you won't lose it. And that kind of stuff is what you always lose. <laughs> All right, so we have, I think a 60 foot wire here. Again, I haven't uh, actually uh, I've lost the manual. <laughs> no, I haven't lost it. My girlfriend came to visit and uh, unfortunately she arrived on a Thursday night and she had all of Friday while I was at work to uh, revamp my apartment. <laughs> I can't find anything. All right, so here we have a stress relief. Very nice. Connection to the Unun. And here we actually have a counterpoise wire. Now, if you don't have a counterpoise with an Unun uh, for an unfed, you are going to have uh, RF uh, currents on the uh, coax shield and that can of course go back to your radio and you can actually feel it in your fingers when you use a metal Morse key. Not a good feeling. The connector is an SO239. I would have preferred of course a uh, BNC connector but hey lots of people use it and actually I think I forgot the adapter and that's the problem. Well this was just a rapid introduction of the Amcom 3 because everything I use has BNC connectors and of course, uh, you know, I wasn't quite awake this morning and uh, I didn't bring the adapter, so sorry. I wish uh, Chameleon made a uh, BNC model, not always uh, SO239. Maybe Carl will uh, do that, that'd be nice. You know what, actually I do have a cable <laughs> because I brought one for my PRC351 and uh, it's a shorter cable but it has a PL159 connector which will mate with the SO239. So we will be able to test it. It's a shorter cable once again but uh, it will work and I have the adapter for the other end of the cable. I won't be able to use my PRC351 at the same time but hey, we're here to test the uh, Amcom 3 anyway. I will be throwing the wire in a tree, of course, so uh, what I need is a good rock here because I don't have my slingshot. I just need to buy another one because it's extremely useful. Maybe not the best rock. And by the way, we have Andy here, who is one of my subscribers. <laughs> Found me here locally and uh, he's from the UK. So where are you from exactly? Um, Essex. I'm an Essex boy. There we go. So, and uh, he's doubling, uh, double saving the day because, uh, yeah, he's got an adapter. Us French always find a British guy to save the day. That's a pretty long wire. And that's what the uh, Chameleon Grand Spike is good for too. The antenna is pretty low, starts at 20 feet. It's a long wire and uh, goes down here. And the counterpoise goes down to the ground, to the ground spike. So it's not optimal at all. And here we have the whole assembly here with the stress relief and uh, connected to the winder. Now the only thing, the only thing that worries me is that uh, the amount of plastic here is not much so I'm worried that too much tension would break the winder and that could happen. I would suggest Carl to uh, put those wires a little bit further back you know maybe uh, another quarter of an inch or half an inch something like that. So this is the antenna without the tuner of course uh, directly plugged in and interesting graph on the AA600 
you could probably use it on quite a few frequencies in HF here without a tuner. Uh, this is uh, 15 megahertz, plus or minus 15, so up to 30. All right, let's tune the antenna. Easy match. Say again, say again. Roger, roger. Thank you very much. Uh, you are a uh, probably 5'9 here. Definitely a 5. No S meter uh, here in the south of France. Uh, over. Okay. Um, it's a little bit of QSB. I, I missed the first part of the, the message. Uh, you reported 5 and 3 QSB. 5, 3 QSB. Over. Thank you very much, uh, Roger, for 5-3, and again you are 5-8-5-9 uh, eight, here, 5-8-5-9 in the south of France, QSL. QSL, thank you for 5-8 to 5-9, south of France, QSL, uh, the name is Lucas, uh, I'm in Lima, Alpha, Romeo, Sierra, Lima, Alpha, Romeo, Sierra, my QTH is central part of Sweden, uh, over. Roger, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, here I am uh, operating in a park uh, uh, near the uh, near the, the uh, Mediterranean Sea, and uh, uh, using a PRC 320 PRC 320 uh, military man pack uh, 30 watts QSL. Uh, okay, yes, uh, I'm on QSL.com. I think it's a picture on the radio. Is that the one? Over. Yeah, that is the one. <laughs> Yes, uh, same radio, same radio, and uh, I have a uh, um, chameleon antenna wire uh, in the tree here, and uh, it seems to work pretty well. Uh, yesterday I tried with a whip antenna, 2.5 meters, and made no contact, but today with a longer antenna uh, it, it does work. Uh, back to you. Oh, very good. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, oh, you will see uh, this. Uh, I am recording this for YouTube also, so uh, you will see that too. <laughs> very good. Thank you and have a very, very good day. Uh, Foxtrot for Whiskey. Bravo, Yankee. Over. I can barely hear the other guy. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Over. Fox 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Echo, Echo Alpha 7, Yankee Tango. Uh, this is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. You are 5859 here in the south of France, QSL. QSL, QSL, good afternoon. Your signal is 5910 decibel from Malaga. Thank you, thank you for contact with Lab 44. Oh, very nice, thank you. I am uh, operating in a park here with uh, military radio PRC uh, 320. Over. Already gone. <laughs> that was quick.
Echo India 6, uh, Kilo Sierra, yes, uh, good afternoon, this is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. You are a 4-6 uh, here, 4-6 in the south of France, QSL. Roger, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, you're a 5 and 5, the name here is John, Japan Oscar Motel, Norway, and my location is 6-0 kilometers south of Dublin. Uh, Roger John, uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, Roger for uh, the near the Dublin. Here I am uh, near the south of France, near the, uh, the Mediterranean Sea, near the town of Nice, uh, uh, November, India, Charlie Echo, using a uh, military uh, manpack radio. PRC320 uh, 30 watts into a chameleon antenna, a wire antenna and fed. QSL? Oh, there's some uh, QRM there. Roger John, Roger John, uh, thank you very much and you have a very nice day. 73, uh, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, over. Have a nice day. Well, guys, the uh, Amcom 3 seems to work pretty well, although it's really too low. Uh, so this is just a preliminary test. And uh, I will, of course, be uh, using it again and uh, testing it uh, more thoroughly. Uh, but uh, I can say so far so good. Now I'm going to try a little bit the uh, PRC351. I don't know if it's going to work. Probably not. But hey, I'll just make a few calls. And uh, you never know. Although, again, we are at sea level here and with the uh, tiny antenna. Well, actually, I have the uh, MPAS system with me. And uh, that's the one I used the last time. I uh, made a contact uh, with England from uh, the French coast. So uh, that should work pretty well. I'm going to use that. And uh, you never know. Somebody might be listening on 6 meter FM. But uh, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath. But I'm going to try. Good thing I bought the MPAS with me. I uh, have it here. 3.2 meter whip and uh, plug that in directly into the PRC351 and we have a pretty good output here CQ, 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 CQ Ici F4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee F4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee Over I'll tell you, this is better than watching television, that's for sure. Being here in the sun, playing radio, what's better than that? So, I'll have to uh, test the uh, Amcom 3 portable uh, a little bit further because uh, it's a very interesting an antenna. And, uh, of course, we couldn't really test it here, uh, not being able to throw the wire high enough. But uh, next time, uh, we're going to try that and maybe go to the mountains, something like that. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a mast here, so uh, that's the problem. I have a very short one, 6 meters, but I wish I had my 12-meter uh, spider, spider pole. Spider beam. <laughs> but I don't, so uh, I'll have to uh, get it back here. Until then, have a good one.